Oh, I'm going to get my iPad out because then I can read the comments on my iPad too. Nice. It's, like, it's a little hard sometimes to look at. So you are live streaming this. What? So you are live streaming this. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'm not recording. I'm just live streaming. Yeah, so there's Lexa, Fulmer, and Lynn Downey and people there. So people are seeing it. But I'll get my iPad out so we don't have to read it from here. Cool. All right. Hey, hey, whoever is watching, we'll give you a second to assemble. Also, if I want to like type something to them, I just type it on this. Uh, cool. Type it on the phone. Zach Cohen is here. Raven Riley. MJ. Antinol. Here, look, I'll show you. Oops. See, that's the stream, but there's all the comments there. Nice. This is Saul, my brother. He will be he will be teaching me today. Or trying to. Trying to. Peppy the Frog, Gossamer, Simple NV, CRT is here, Lisa Remo, Mark G, Org 3D, Pan Pan. Raven Riley and Lexa are moderating. Pat W, Alpha Dog. Everybody's saying hi to Saul. See? Nice. What's up, everybody? Sarah's moderating. Richie Vegas. Call me Connie Fernandez. They know we've been trying to do this stream for yeah, it's like the months. I was so surprised. Yes. So at any moment, major news come in. Yeah. Run out. Somebody, Fire somebody in the chat yeah. will say there's major news, and then That's I'll great. throw it away. Goss, everybody's saying nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Oh, thank you. MJ made a donation. By the way, I, Thanks, I'm going to Venmo you because some viewers previously sent me some donations for the supplies. So I'll, no I'll way. Venmo, I'll Venmo you after. No way. Yeah. Thank you, viewers. Um, Thanks, if MJ. You, if you want to send me a new Bugatti or something like that, too, be great. Yeah, if you have a new <laughs> Bugatti, you can send it to Saul. Uh, Barbara DC or Dallas Alice, Mrs. G, Angelina Knox. Fanzansky, Brittany. Oh, thank you. Lark Sporadic made a donation, too. Thank you, thank you. Their people are feeling very generous today. Nice. Thanks, Lark Sporadic. See, I should be out more often. Yeah, get Saul. Saul brings it in. <laughs> Jennifer Herring is here. Jen Jennifer's father's name was Saul. Nice. S-A-U-L, yep. Yeah. Nice. Johnny Mnemonic is here. Uh, K-Body is moderating. Kangaroo Island TV, he's in Australia. He's watching. Nice. Kangaroo Island TV, somebody already made the Better Call Saul joke. So you now you, you copied their joke. Ann Walter is here. Taking this username is here. Calendar page is here. So Saul is going to teach me how to make tacos, which I don't know how to make. Saul's an excellent cook. He's amazing. Uh, but he's going to show me this way to make tacos that supposedly doesn't take too much time. Hopefully I won't mess it up. We're gonna so I'll pan over and show them. That's the meat over there. Oh, I'll bring it over. Here, yeah, just 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 show it on camera. This is the meat. So this is ground beef. Yeah, it's eighty five uh, fifteen. I haven't even bought ground, ground beef in like six months. What is it's, what is what is the, what is the normal fat level? Eighty five fifteen or is it eighty twenty? I mean, 20? technically, probably. I mean, it's whatever they however they mix it. Usually eighty twenty or eighty five fifteen. If you want to go real okay. lean with it, it's yeah. ninety three or ninety ten. Here, you want to hold it a little higher so you can. Sorry, you can, that's it. There you go. So that's just 85, 15, right? You use 85, 15. It's organic. It happens to be organic. It happened to be catch it on sale. So. And that's a lot because you're like cooking for your family, right? This is two pounds. Two pounds, right. Yeah. So if you were cooking for a, for one person, how much would you cook? Oh, like a pound? Oh, just a pound. Yeah. yeah. Touch to buy it smaller than that. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to make this nice and easy and use two of these taco seasoning mixes. Okay. Yeesh. Old El Paso. Do you, you, do you usually use those? You usually make your own seasoning mix. Uh, I usually use those seasoning mix. I mean, yeah. you can. It's just either or. Uh, let's see here. And actually, I'll... Yeah, so I've never made tacos myself. I don't know how to make them. And it's so I wanted my brother to teach me. I assume you guys can hear us okay? And for the sake of the show, um, just like I had a cook cook show. So did you buy shredded lettuce? Or no, I shredded it? the lettuce and I also shredded the uh, tomatoes as well. But you can buy shredded lettuce. You can, but... Why not just shred? I don't have a shredder. Use a knife. Use a knife. I, I I have to buy lettuce though. 
Anyway, so he has he has shredded lettuce and he has some cut tomatoes. Yes. TG says audio video good. Thanks again for modding. Um, Raven Riley, Lexa Fulmer, Sarah. Hold on. What is this happening? We'll also do some guacamole. Some Mexican cheese. Oh, hold on. What do you got? Guacamole. Guacamole. Oh. Mexican cheese. Sour cream. What is Mexican cheese? Uh, it is Monterey Jack cheddar. A, a sip. Does it have spice in it? Seasoning? Not really. No, it's just a blend of four no, that, That's interesting, though, because I would probably buy that. I don't know Siri is messing up. So I guess... I guess what I would need, Saul, is I would need to make this. Cause I don't know if I don't want guacamole or sour cream. I would just need the ground beef, you don't, the taco you mix, ground beef and tacos. Ground beef, the taco something. seasoning mix, and then lettuce and tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. And cheese. Okay. Oh, Pat W says hot taco sauce. Do you put any sauce on your tacos? Uh, I do not because this the, the spice packet has some stuff in it, oh, but okay. you can use. Salsa, salsa, obviously, yeah. Salsa. Oh, yeah, salsa. Oh, he probably has salsa. Yeah. Rosemary Randolph is here. Canadian Patriot is here. K-Body is moderating, too. Sarah's moderating, too. Uh, we'll do, Pan salsa. Pan we'll do salsa Verde today. Which salsa is cool. Verde. It's just green salsa. Nice. But it's fine. We can also do the other one. That, that you put on after, right? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, so what I like, the idea I like about this is it's supposed to be pretty easy to do. I'm going to start it. Um, yeah, so how long, how long, from when you started, how long is it going to take? I would say to do the meat is probably six minutes to brown the meat. Yeah. It was, Seven minutes. Okay, so wait a second. Just and wait. And then after that, yeah. you have to, it takes about another 20 minutes oh. to do other stuff as well because you, you have to boil it down so why don't you start the meat and then i'll tell us to go all right so let me like really quick for those of you who are here that's my brother saul he's been kind enough he's an awesome cook he's been kind enough to show me how to make tacos today because i want to learn how to do it so i can cook them for myself um and saul is going to begin by browning the meat he's gonna brown the meat hold on let me pan let me pan down wait and i'm also gonna add something that's not in the normal recipe this is from christine my, my wife's father christine who puts in chopped green chilies in the meat oh, while it's browning. That's interesting. So if I'm going to pan down here, what we see is you have this meat. That's just ground beef, 85-15. And you put it in a pan. Actually, is there no oil in the pan? No, there's no oil in the pan. There's no oil in the pan. I don't have a, a skillet, I don't think. I have a frying pan. No, that's a for your birthday, dude. Could I do that in a frying pan, Saul? Most definitely. Okay, so Saul says I could use a frying pan for this. So he turned the heat on what? Sorry, I put on high usually. Saul put the heat on high, which I don't think my frying pan can handle. Yes, it can. But that's the one I'm not, well, I've, I think I have two of them, but one Why of them. Why can't is, your frying pan handle The one I heat? have is only supposed to go medium heat, but. What? Anyways. You're crazy. So, so he and he's adding these. Uh, chopped green chilies. Chopped green chilies, which is optional, right, Saul? Completely optional. For your for your friend out there who said spice, yes. Okay. So, oh, uh, Johnny says plenty of grease in the burger. So, basically, you can get a pan like this and put the meat just in it. And you're going to cook this for how long, Saul? Until it browns. And then I'm going to drain the fat out of there. Until it browns. And are you going to turn over the meat when you... Uh, I'm going to actually continually hit it. Okay, you're gonna, you have a, like a... Here, implement I, there. You see now? Yeah, we can see great. Sweet. Okay, this is interesting. By implement, it is a spatula. It's a spatula. Laughing stock says no onion. Do you use onion or not? No onion in the tacos. Uh, but uh, Christine's mom likes to put onions on top of tacos. Okay. You can use them after, right? Put them you, on after. you could do onion if you want to. That's, right. that's not, it's not a right or wrong thing. It's a personal taste. Having two lovely children who do not like onions... Okay, so I'm seeing, I don't, if you guys can see, the meat's starting to get a little, well, it's more the salsa. The salsa's mixing in with the meat. It's actually not not the salsa, salsa. Uh, the chilies are mixing in with the meat. But again, the chilies are optional. So basically, just meat in the pan. The pan is on high, and Saul says that in about six, seven minutes, it'll brown. So basically no, I've all, never made tacos. All of the, when you make the burger meat, Steve, the, the fat in the burger meat is then going to, um, we're going to drain it out. 
Okay. Yeah. The fat's going to come out and then... We're going to have to dump the fat out. You're going to dump the fat out. Yes. Oh. Where do you dump the fat? I'm going to bump it into the bowl. And then you... What do you do with the bowl? You can't just throw it out. You can't dump it on the sink. Nope. You take... You basically let it go for the well. Oh, yeah, cool, I know. And then put some paper towels in it and put in the trash. Yes, out. okay. Yes, I've done that with other stuff. Okay. Detective Wisdom says, I put onions on my tacos. Take in this username says, we do not like onions. Okay. Sam Stamos says, you do not need oil to saute meat. He's doing it right. Sarah says, you can do ground turkey too. You can most I definitely do ground turkey. Can you do chicken? You could do ground chicken too, but it's it's you're going to get more water content from the turkey yeah. and probably more water content from the chicken. And it's and the chicken, they're going to cook differently. It's yeah. going to taste different. You could probably use Beyond Meat too, right? Couldn't you? Yeah. Well, I'll probably just use ground beef. So the, you could use steak. So I can see that the beef is kind of browning some now, right? Mm -hmm. And how many minutes? Probably been two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and basically, you're just waiting until you don't see pink anymore, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. This is doable. This is doable. Hello, Christine. We're cooking. We're live We're streaming. Live cooking. Oh, did I lock, we lock you out? Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. We just started. Evil Ian says, taco seasoning is affordable and effective. How are you? Good. Hmm. So again, all that's in there right now is ground beef, and Two then pounds. as an option, he put in uh, chilies. Chop, right? chopped green chilies. Chopped chopped green mild chilies. chopped green chilies. Mild chopped green chilies. So for those in. who like the spice, they could obviously put in more spice here. But you don't have to put that in. You could just do it with just the meat, which is what I might do to start to keep it simple. All right, you can actually, you should be able to see that the beef, less pink, more brown is happening. There's not even oil in there. No, see, all, see all the fat that you've been starting to get here? That's all fat. Ooh. Okay. So that, that's what you're going to dump out yep. into a bowl. Yep. Yeah, Saul cooks all kinds of stuff. He's very good at it. This is, I don't want to jinx it because this is not one of the harder recipes. Well, for me, it'll be a challenge. Oh, you'll be good at it. So far, I get it, though. The hardest thing about cooking is not being stressed out. <laughs> That's looking good. It's smelling good. I can't convey the smell, but it's smelling okay. good. So why I keep hitting the, the when I keep touching the meat yes. is I want the meat in very small pieces. Oh, and so that's it's, interesting. It's started, now when you get organic beef like that, a lot of times it's, it's less firm, which is nice. Yes. Um, but if you have meat that's, you know, maybe you've, I froze this beforehand. So maybe you, maybe it's still a little frozen or something like that. You yeah. Know, just... So it's going to get, yeah, like so when you get tacos, you don't have big pieces of meat. Which, well, the kind we're talking about. Yeah. You don't want little mini burgers. You want tacos. Cool. Joe says you can also use ground turkey. Yeah, we were saying that before. Uh, Tony says, I love your sweatshirt. I'm a huge Patriots fan. Nice. Detroit Rock Angel says, can Saul made fajitas? I made fajitas like last year or two years ago. We did a stream where I made fajitas. Yes, on the grill and on the stovetop. Yeah, I grilled them on my George Foreman. Nice. I think that's what I did. I think. You can do shrimp fajitas. You can do... I've never done You can do swordfish fish fajitas. This, this is looking good. Again, all it's just it's just ground beef in a pan, no oil, and he put some uh, chilies, uh, mild chilies in there, mild green chilies. All right. So when I dump this, all I'm right, gonna, I'm gonna put it over here. So when you, all right. So what the next thing that's gonna happen is, where are you gonna do that? I'll follow you with I can follow you with the phone. Oh, thank you, Sonic. S Sonic says I have already subscribed to Saul's cooking channel. He's nice. Ready. He should have one. Thank you, Sonic. You should see me at Thanksgiving. Yeah, he, he, he does an insane Thanksgiving. 
So, so what he's doing now is the beef is basically, right, it's, it's, it's browned. It's brown beef. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to pan it over there. Yep. So, so let's go over, let's pan over here. And what he's doing now is you, see you have the thing on a bowl and you are, he is emptying the fat from the beef. He's emptying the fat into the bowl. This is just exciting television, isn't it? Uh, believe me, I've done stuff way more boring than this <laughs> for hours. So he's just letting the fat drain into a bowl, and he will dispose of the fat after it congeals. I recommend or using a bigger bowl, like like a hefty bowl, because if it falls over and you clean up, it's, it, it's just terrible. Trust me. Oh, you're saying a small one could fall over more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. You don't have to be as meticulous as this. Yeah. But. Do you use the spatula to kind of push it out at all or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use it, but is it the, the stuff? Yes. Darth Hader says we use a strainer. Excellent move. There's one more thing to clean. That's true. Throw in dishwasher though? Could do that. Cappy Slappy says I would like to use spoons with holes in it. Well, slotted spoons are a great idea. But I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep the meat in the pan. That's why I'm doing this. Like this. Right, right, right. Okay, so you now have this pan of ground meat, ground ground beef. Now we can do this. Why don't you come back this way? Like this. Now you have two so of these. Here's the critical thing. Okay, right. taco seasoning mix on the package. We're gonna do, do times two here. It says a pound of ground beef. Yes. Two thirds of a cup of water and and the, the packet. So that's what it says. All, literally in the packet, it says each of these packets is for a pound of ground beef, and then you add two-thirds of a cup of water. And now, since you have two pounds of ground beef, we're going to put two of these in and four-thirds of a cup of water. Yes. The, the, might be a little bit too much water, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wow. Okay, this is exciting. They just sell these at the supermarket, right? They do, yes. Oh, okay. So if I made a pound, I would use one of those. Just one, yes. And you pour the water right in the pan. Yep. Interesting. Then what do you do? Well, I'll show you. Okay. So far, nothing too complex, though. No. In fact, Steve yes. and, and viewers, we're going to do both soft and hard tacos. Oh, soft and hard tacos. Somebody just Crazy. asked about that. Crazy talk. Soft and hard tacos. All right. So we have the ground beef. That's been browned. We poured the fat out. Then we put the taco mix on, the seasoning mix. And Saul's... Four, thir four thirds, right? Yeah, he's, uh, one pan would be two thirds of a cup of water, so we're doing four thirds of a cup of water. There you go. Just cold water, right? Yep. Poured it on there. Whatever, yeah, that one. I mean, right. Now the heat you're putting on how high? Oh, well, it high says, you, what is the, why don't you read what the directions are? It says, uh, cook beef. All right, fine, fine, fine. Stern water, uh, stern water and seasoning mix. Heat to boiling. Reduce, then reduce heat. Simmer uncovered three to four minutes, stirring often until thickened. Now, it, that's a blatant lie of the uh, three to four minutes. It probably takes more like 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so basically you're going to heat it on high until the water starts boiling. And then go back to a then down to a simmer, which is so which is like low to a once medium low-ish. Low yeah, you'll know. I mean, you don't want it to burn, but you also want it to get rid of the water. And once that water is uh, taken care of, it's all gone. Then you're ready to roll. Okay, so again, we put the seasoning on, we put the water in, you put it on the heat on high. We're waiting for the water to boil. Once the water starts boiling, we're going to lower the heat and then wait until the water is basically all. Visibly evaporated, yes. evaporated. Yep. and then then the meat's done. The meat is then done. Yes. Wow. And then so for soft tacos, that's all you would have to do. For hard tacos, then you have to put them into the uh, oven. Oh wait, hold on. You have to tell me about this. Oh, and while you're doing this, uh, you're just constantly stirring, right? No, not really. Or no, no. I'm just I'm just gonna. I want it to be mixed in. To start. So you you're saying once the meat is done, for soft tacos you'd be done. For hard tacos, what do you put in the oven? The the, the actual taco with the beef in it. Oh, you put the you put the meat in the hard shell and then you put it in the oven. Yes, just to get it hot. Yes, but not for that long. Let's see how this. See, this I didn't know. 
crunchy shell. Six to seven minutes. Oh, really? Yep. At what temperature? 325. So the okay, so Saul is saying... Once, what? Now, mind you, that would tell the box would tell you to do it and, and do it for with the shells with nothing in them. However, my father-in-law does it with the, with the uh, stuff in it. Yeah. And what you find is if you do it without the stuff in it and then try to put the stuff in it, it crunches, it cracks. Oh. So it's better off to put it in ahead of time. So what Saul says he does is when he wants to make hard tacos, once the meat is done, he puts everything in here and in, into the shells and then puts the shells into the oven. Okay, so see this? This is, this is pretty much boiling, right? At this point. And so we're going to turn it down. To okay, uh, yeah, can, you, can people see that it's, the water is boiling? The water is boiling, and so now he turned the heat down. I put it on like, like number two, and then I'll look at it. You want a, a nice enough simmer, but not so it's... Right, it's two of how, of, of how high? Two out of, two out of nine. Okay, so now the heat's on low. Lowish. Okay. So, the, so you can see that the, that the water is bubbling, but it's less So, while we're doing, while that's going, I'm going to start preparing. This, this is my favorite trick, by the way. Okay. And I learned this from my friend Brooke. For those of you who like soft tacos and don't do this, and you have to have a uh, gas stove, this will change your life. Ooh, hold on, let me... So you're turning one of the other burners on. Yep. And you're literally going to put that on the stove. Now, Christine thinks I'm crazy, my wife, because, and I am, but uh, I can actually go here and I've been cooking a long time, so it doesn't hurt my fingers. He, to don't do this. try this at home. He knows but what he's doing. You can doing. try this at home if your fingers are okay. But you could just use a, you could use one of those. Uh, you could, yes. I will use like a... a if you, if a, you're going to use one of those, a, make sure it's not plastic. So not like a silicone one. Yeah. Right. Well, I wouldn't use a silicone one. I use a metal one. Oh, metal one. Okay. So you just do this to heat up the soft taco. Well, what you're basically tortilla. doing is you're, uh, when the corn comes out from the grocery store, these are, this is the corn one, and I also have flour ones up here yep. too. You don't, ah, that's how I heat tortillas in Mexico. I don't know who said it else to go back there, but yes. Tongs. Toaster will do okay. Yes. I presume the oven probably would. Um, okay is the, is the operative tomb though. It's not, it's not great. But I don't know, Steve, you know, here, so I'm going to go with this. I want you to feel and describe to the audience what this feels like. So I feel this. Okay, soft. Now I feel that. Ooh, I like that. Different. So we'll do a bunch of each. So he is, so again, we're making tacos. So Saul's teaching me how to make tacos. Let me just go back over the steps with the meat. We started with ground beef in that pan, and as an optional thing, Saul put in some mild green chilies, right? Along yes. with the beef. Yep. But basically, you can just start with the beef with no oil in the pan. Uh, you brown the beef, takes like seven minutes. Once the beef is browned, you pour out the fat, get it out of there. Then you add, then we added the taco seasoning and the amount of water recommended by the taco seasoning uh, recipe. Uh, then we put it on high heat, and when the water started boiling, then we put it on low heat, and now we're gonna just kind of keep cooking it until the water boils off. And in the meantime, he is just, he likes to do this thing where he heats up the soft tortillas on the uh, oven, which is also optional. MJ says, that's how I do mine too. So eventually, once yes. once the water bubbles off, our meat is done, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And then we can either put them on these Sorry. soft tortillas, or we can put them on the hard tortilla shells and put those in the oven. Yep. Okay. This is making sense. Not too bad. It smells very good. Oh, thank you, Zach Cohen. Zach's, Zach says... You heat your tortillas just like I have for years. Love it. Hey, thanks, Zach. Zach made a donation. So. Thanks, Zach. Very nice of you. Take some other comments here while we're watching Saul letting the water continue to burn off in the meat. Thanks, Zach. Uh, Mark G says, as a Mexican-American, I had my doubts, but Saul is a friggin' taco pro. Yeah, uh, Saul's a very good cook. A friggin' taco He's not like pro. me. He's like the opposite of me in terms of cooking. I appreciate the Taco Pro comment. Thank you. Uh, Tom Mix says you are a natural at live streaming, Saul. Oh, Very nice. Fantastic. 
I can quit my day job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that? I may have to get a pan like that. I just don't have it. What? Nope. No. I probably should. What is that called? Is that a? Is that a? Uh... This is an all clad pan. Um, if you're gonna, this is a non stick all clad. Yeah. Uh, I rec I do like non stick. The only problem is that it's. Uh, if you don't use the right tool with it, you'll break it. Right. You gotta use like a silicone thing. Or you something use like that. plastic. Yeah, I have. I, but I, I... I, actually, the all clads now. Um, have come down a bit in price. The re so, do you use a, you have a gas stove or a electric? I think I have electric saw. I don't necessarily know what the. I mean, I can just tell you if you cook a lot, I, have I, I, I much prefer the, the all clad pans because yeah. the way they conduct the heat is just right. awesome. Oh, I have a wok. Could I use a wok for the beef? At least the first time I do it, or no? You could, but the wok's going to naturally drain all that. Yeah, it's going to naturally drain all the stuff into the middle of it. Right. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like a modified format. But for the first time I do it, just to avoid buying, could I, for my first time, just yeah, use course. my walk? Maybe I'll use my walk when I first do it. The we'll only problem is going to become when you have to do this. Oh. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be sitting. Right. On, but depending on how big your walk is. It's a pretty a, big a, walk. A pound, so. a pound of beef probably will fit perfectly in the middle. Yeah, it's a pretty big walk. So I won't, that's two pounds of beef. Probably just try my walk and go from there. Uh, soul food cooking who has a channel on YouTube, says, All Clad is by far my favorite cookware. Nice. This is my wedding All Clad. Yeah, this is, Saul, again, it's my brother Saul, who's a great cook, who's helping us. He's, he's kind enough to show me how to cook these things. So these are really forgiving. If you forget about them for a minute. Well, this, oh, you're saying if you forget about the they software. They won't burn. The, the flour will burn faster. But you can't do this on an electric stove, you're saying? You cannot. Because it'll be too hot? No, because you don't have the fire to make them crispy. I see, I'm an idiot. I just don't. I mean, the electric stove will so it'll you're, be hot. You're obviously not an idiot. Um, think about it this way: the fire yes. underneath it is what is crisping up the tacos. Right. The electric, if you put it on there, it's just going to burn. It's going to burn. The element okay. is too hot. Okay. Yeah, it's S A U L. So we still the beat is not done yet because the water is still bubbling off. There's still water in there. You can still see the water. So you're right. It does not take three minutes. They said on the air it takes three minutes to bubble off well, the don't water. Don't forget, that's for one pound. Oh, it's two and pounds. And two-thirds of a cup. So right. this is, this is more, more water. water. Yeah. Right. Okay, you're right. Now that's like when, they, when, a, when a small brewery goes to be a large brewery and they have all their recipes, they have to redo all their recipes because mm. that doesn't quite matter balance out so definitely I see less water in there now this is exciting and then we're going to do some soft we'll do some soft corn, and some, some hard so yeah, some soft corn some soft flour and then we'll do some hard um, oh yeah so what kind of different shells can you get or you get soft corn soft flour then hard corn is it I think it's all it's all hard corn. I think it's all hard corn. Okay. Yeah. You can get them in different sizes and shapes. Right. Kay says I use lots of cast iron. Uh, cast iron's fantastic. Faux Robier says good condensing. Now you have some foil. Oh, why now? Why do you have foil? Because I'm gonna put the. Uh, the hard taco. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you're going to put the hard taco shells on the foil. Then you're going to put the meat in the hard taco shells and put it yes. in the oven. For those who don't cook, when I was at a restaurant, they uh, um, they taught a little trick where if you put a little water on the pan top, it'll make the foil stick to the pan the the, the top. Saul, so a viewer MJ got me uh, these silicone baking sheets. Great. Fan you reuse them? Yeah, you reuse awesome. it. You put it in the dishwasher. It's kind of cool. I never had them before. What are those safe to? Is it like 450? 450. Nice. Yeah. How high is this? How, what's the temperature on high, if you put it on high? I don't know. I mean, it says it. Here, here's the... This, this happens to be the largest burner of all yeah. the four burners. So, I just turned, so it gets pretty... It's yeah. only on two, and it's going pretty well. 
Uh, one of our viewers, Saul, said, Kim, Kim Hayes says, do you ever add green onion to your meat? Uh, I would love to do that, Kim, but uh, Somebody doesn't like Christine it. doesn't like it, and, and the kids don't like it. Can you just buy green onion, or do you have to buy, or would you buy, can you buy it chopped up, or you just chop it up, it's just powder yourself, yeah. yeah. Green onions are little tubulars. Right, tubular things, big. okay. You could also get a scallion plant if you want, although scallion is a different, different, more intense flavor. Mm -hmm. Would you put those in during the beef cooking, or after? Uh, you could do either one, it'd be a good thing to test out, what tastes better. Yeah. The green chilies go in before, if you want. If, to if you do them chilies. after, they don't, they don't do as much, but before they, they right. flavor the meat. So again, that we're waiting for the water to bubble off. In case you're just joining us, we are Saul is teaching me how to make tacos. We started with just ground beef, and he put in some uh, mild green chili chilies, mild green chili peppers, chilies, yeah. mild green chilies, it's the same thing in into the pan. But you could just start with literally just ground beef in the pan. Uh, and uh, we cooked that until it was brown. Then we poured the fat off. Then so we added some. Steve, oh, see how so now when I'm moving it, you're seeing stuff stick to the bottom a bit more? Yes. It's getting closer. You're getting less and less water in there. Right. You're so barely I, seeing any water. So you want to just kind of like, you, you don't want to burn it. That's no. it. At this point, you, you don't, you don't want to let it go too long before it starts to, oh, see, I start to burn. Tortilla. Okay, that one got a little burn. A little burn. So again, we brown the meat. Uh, then we poured the fat off, then we put the taco seasoning on, and then added water per the instructions, and now we've just been cooking the water off. When you put the water in, you first have to boil, put it up, hit the heat on high, wait till the water's boiling, then you turn the heat down, and just let the water evaporate off. And now there's hardly any water that you see on the bottom, so we're getting very close. Now, when the meat is done, Saul, you can just turn heat down and leave it in the pan? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, thank you. Dizzy Dale made a donation. Thanks, Dizzy Dale. He said hello to you. Well, hello, Dizzy Dale. Thanks, Dizzy Dale. That's very kind of you. Um... Pan Pan says no beans? <laughs> That's just an optional side dish, right? Uh, yep. For tacos, yeah. You, you, we, I mean, you we couldn't put them on the tacos. Could you put you? it in the soft taco if you wanted to, I guess? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Beans is a different... I love beans. So this is how your flour tortillas should look after they're toasted. This is before... Hold on. Yeah, do it before you, and after. You, you touch this one. Right. Now touch this one. I mean, they definitely feel different. Feel a little harder on this, them? This one is the, the cooked one here. That's the non-cooked one. And if it looks like um, the hand, it's hot, because it is hot. Yeah, if you look over here, you can see the uncooked ones and the cooked ones. This is corn. This is oh, okay. Oh, I thought, oh that's wait, flour. flour. That's cooked and that's uncooked. That's okay. So that's brown. Yep. Okay. This is, the, this is the corn ones. Again, Saul is an experienced cook, so he does it with his hands, which I will not be doing. This, that's another way to say it. I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't mind burning my hands over and over again. For those of you Anthony Bourdain fans out there who've read Kitchen Confidential when he is first in the restaurant and talking all that crazy game, and the next thing you know, he's, he burns himself, and he says, does anyone have any antiseptic? And the chefs are all, they all stop what they're doing. A guy comes out and just shows them the hands, and the hands are all callous. He can literally reach into the broiler and grab it. Mm. I haven't read that book in years. I read it, and I haven't read it in years. I should read it. I'll look at it again. So this is... This is this is slightly overdone. It shouldn't be as crispy as this. It means I'm slacking. I'm telling stories and not focusing That's on right. So, yeah, I'm barely seeing any water in there now. It's getting close. But it's not sticking to the bottom yet, so I'm not quite done. Yeah, we used this seasoning mix just for simplicity's sake, which is what I'll probably do at home. And he also put some uh, mild green chilies in there, too. I, I can't stream on Twitch when I do this because I'm streaming from my phone. So just for technical reasons, when I stream from the phone, I only go out to one place at a time.
No, Saul doesn't actually have a cooking channel. That was a joke. Maybe oh. one day if he wants to. But, um, yeah, so I'm looking at the beef and I'm not seeing like, any kind of water bubbling up at all now. And just for, to, for people to know out there, there is my wife and a 14-year-old girl and an 11-year-old girl. And, and then Steve and I. So this is essentially for five. And there, there will probably be left, there's almost certainly be leftovers from this. So you made two pounds of meat for five people. And then, and, and again, whatever you don't eat, you can just put in the fridge. Yep, I'll have them tomorrow. It's, it's yep. great. Taco salads are fantastic. Mm. I mean, this is very, this is very doable. This so is if you not... look and see, it's still a little bit. Of... Oh, hold on, hold it up a little, a little higher. There you go. A little. There you go. A little wet here. Yeah. So I just want to just try to get as much off as I can. Yeah, you're saying, I'm not seeing water at the bottom. And I think some of that's from the, oh, see, I've killed this. Huh. Okay. See how it pops up? Yeah. You're saying it's wet like it looks like on wet on the surface. Yeah, so I, basically it's, part of that's the, the fat from the meat and part of that is also the stuff I put in it. So I want it to get a little bit, I don't want it to burn it, but I want it to get a little bit more dry, if you will. Personal preference. So this is, uh, MJ says, I love taco salad. Nice. Lori Torres says, you need to get green hatch chili from New Mexico. Uh, so isn't isn't the whole thing of Mexico, you're either red or, red or green? From where? From New from Mexico. Mexico. New Mexico. Yes, yeah, so you're either red or green. That's a big thing. That's the, that's the, or you could have it Christmas, right? You have it both, red and green. So Joe Meyer says, is Saul's daughter the viral TikTok influencer? I, I will say no comment on that. Uh, she's not doing that this week because she yes. has no phone. That is that Saul's daughter, yes. but yes. <laughs> they, they know the basic story. They, know, nice. they haven't seen the video, but they know the basic nice. story. There will be no viral influencer. They're welcome to come down if they want. I, I, I assume they know that. Yeah, sure. Well, that's probably chilling upstairs. That'd be good if she said a quick hi. Would she want to? If they want to. I mean, they probably love to see say hi to them. Nice. They can be on here, right? As long as I'm here. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, so this is like the longest step is, is, is the step with the beef getting the water boil up. And if I'm only cooking a pound of meat, that won't even take that long, right? No. No. But, I mean, then you have time to do that. For me, I know I want to do this. So. Now, you don't have to do that with the tortillas, right? No, but they taste much better. They taste better. much better? Yeah. But if you really wanted to, you could literally just... Now, with the shells, you don't have to... You should cook them, you're saying. Saul is saying you should cook these. Heat them up. But you definitely don't have to. It's just it's like a, it's like a tortilla chip. Right. But, I mean, if you're really, like, pressed for time and you're lazy, you really can just... Just do the meat. I, I'm now nitpicking on the meat. I, I'm just, it's at that point where I'm just saying, see, too much. Okay. So the basics, again, I'm going to go over for people. The basic steps of the meat, without the chilies, you could just do, put the ground beef in the pan with nothing else. Heat it um, uh, till it's, you, brown, you want to brown it on high. Get it brown. Dump out the fat. And then... Put the seasoning on in some water, as as as, set on, as described on the label, and then you uh, put the heat on high let, until the water starts boiling. Then turn the heat down and then let the water completely evaporate. That's it. That's how you do the meat, and it's seasoned. Well, that's that's easy enough. This is very close. Kim Hayes says, "I usually fry my tortillas, but I like the idea of heating over flame." Nice fried sounds great. Sarah says, at this point, I would drain the leftover water and continue to dry the meat. Do you ever drain it or you just like... There's literally no water to drain. Yeah. All right, hold on. Hold, on, hold it up a little higher. Yep. There's no water to drain. Yeah. Yeah, there isn't any water in the, in the, in the bottom. That look, that's looking good. What I can do is probably start filling up... After this tortilla, I'll start filling up those, the, 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 the hard shells. You're going to start filling up the hard shells with meat and then you put them in the oven. Yes, while I finish making this. Okay. Now, 
this your your oven is still on your stove is still on like two. Are you just gonna, or one or two? You're just gonna leave it on there? It won't burn. No, it'll burn if I keep leaving it on too long. Oh, so you're gonna eventually turn it on zero. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna pan over as you go over here. Oh, so what oh, you're? I can't do that. Oops. Yeah. I'll burn, burn this. this. Don't leave don't leave stuff on the stove when it's not there. Okay. So what he's gonna do now is for the hard shell ones. He's going to take out some hard shells and put some of the meat on it and stuff, and then put that in the oven, if I have that right. Okay. Yes, Sarah, Phil, Sarah Saul puts stuff in the hard shells before putting them in the oven. Some people don't, but he yes. does. Yes, in fact, the box tells you not to do that. Now, if you were just going to heat up the hard shells without stuff in them, how long would that take in the oven? Seven minutes. Really? That long, huh? That's what I said to do. Oh, you're saying it on the box it says that. Oh, okay. All right, so hear how this is starting to... It's starting to get real close now. The meat. Yep. Yeah, you're not seeing any water. So this is more for demonstration purposes. We will not be eating all this stuff. There's no way that... It's about how much I put in. Okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. And then you're not going to put the vegetables in them yet, right? Just the meat? No, just the meat. The meat goes in there. Okay. So Georgia, the, the youngest 11-year-old, yes. uh, she requested the uh, hard shells tonight. So. Yes, nice. So, again, he's putting a bit of meat into each hard shell. You don't have to do this, but he likes doing it. And then he's going to put the shells in the oven at 325, you said? 325. 325 for about seven minutes. The moon says, I could eat all of that by myself. Good. Wow. Come over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kamishwari Kate says, my husband put shredded cheese on the toasty hot shells to melt the cheese. Oh, that's so genius. You're going to put the cheese on after, right? No, I'm going to leave the cheese on the table because I'm a weirdo and don't mm. like cheese on my tacos. Hey, Saul, just look who just made a donation. <laughs> What's up, Hugh Scott the Fourth? Scotty Scott says, do the tortillas ever get blistered and caked with debris with that method? Is that an inside joke between you guys? No, it's a fish lyric. Oh, okay. Scotty Scott is friends with Saul. Amazing. Thank you, Scotty Scott. Scotty, were you on the were you on the thing before when I asked for a new Bugatti? Oh, is that a Fish reference too? Yeah, it's uh, oh. Trey Anastasia, the lead lead guitarist of Fish. Uh, the fans bought him like a new like a compressor, a Ross compressor, and he's like, "Great, I, now my Maserati's getting pretty old." And so he's like, "You can buy me one of those." Right. Too. This is getting this is pretty much done. I can only imagine the screenshots that Scotty is going to send tomorrow. Scotty says he was not on earlier. He tuned in late. Oh, geez. Well, never miss a Sunday show, Scotty. Okay, so you're, you're almost done. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey B. Jeffrey says, what color is your Bugatti? Is that, I don't know what that's a reference uh, to. If you want to get me a red one. Take it. Thanks. All right. So you have, so you have the, sh you're putting them in the oven now. Saul just took the, the hard shells and he actually put the meat in them, which a lot of people don't do, but he put some meat in them and he put it in the oven at how much? 325? 325. Yeah, it's at 325. Not quite minute, and uh, he's going to leave them in there for about seven minutes. So normally I guess what people do is you put the hard shells in the oven by themselves. Saul likes putting the meat into the hard shells before putting them in the oven. But either way, you cook the hard shells. Hold on, let me tell Christine about dinner. Maybe if the if the girls want to come down, they can say a quick hi too. If Georgia! they want to, if they want to. Georgia Ruth. So really, once so you've you've already heated these soft tortillas, right? Want to grab Zara and come and be on the live stream for a minute. You've heated the soft tortillas. The hard tortillas are in the oven. Once the hard tortillas are done. This meat is basically done. done. And so what you'll do is you'll put the meat out on the table yep. and the soft tortillas, and, and you'll have the lettuce and tomato out there, and people can just make their own? Yep. Right. Okay. Hey, Kelly Voltaire is here, too. Thank you for moderating Sarah, Alexa Fulmer, Raven Riley, Kay Body. Um, 
Thank you so much for moderating. Hey, thanks, Fly on a Wall, for the donation. So nice of you. Alonzo Hall is here. Nigel is here. Nigel says, we get the old El Paso kits here in the UK. I like the paprika one. Nice. Nice. I was debating on which one to use today. Darren, I like the beef more fatty, so I, I'll probably get, what is it, 80, 20 salt? Is that the fattier? Then you're just going to drain off 5% more beef. Oh, so you think, so when I make burgers, I don't like the lean. I like the fatty meat, but I don't, I don't remember what I'm getting. What yeah, do I normally so get? 80, 80, 20 is, is standard is for classic. burger. The only problem with 80, 20 is when you put it on the grill, it flames. Okay. Well, I haven't had a problem cooking eighty twenty on my grill for burgers. But you're saying oh, you're on your foreman is fine because it's not. It's not. Oh, it's not okay. A, it's not fire, but the fire when the fat drips off. Okay. It'll flame up. So normally on my George Foreman grill, I use eighty twenty for burgers. But what should I use for this? You think I should use eighty five fifteen for for the? You can use eighty twenty if you want. If just like more it. fat to drain off. Just drain off. Okay. I'll probably use eighty twenty then. Hey, thanks, Ice Master Live for the donation. Thank you, Ice Master Live. Baggins, Roof, Baggins is you? fat as flavor. Come, no, you don't want to be on the. On the you don't have to. All right, we're not. We're all, you. We can't see you. We can only see in here. Where is? Oh, our... thank you also to Film TV. Tell your brother this is fish on fish on film. Huh? Nice. Do you know fish on film? I do not know fish on film. That is fish on film. Do you want to say hello? Come on, Zara, get in here. Hey, let's say hello to... Guy, hold on, this would be great. Because yes. they, they've seen you in the chat before. Yeah. Do you want to at least wave hi? Sure. Guys, do you guys want to have Zara wave hi? Hold on. Watch here she is. You. Hold on. I will pull this back. Don't get uh, burned. Uh, guys, there's Zara. She, she's Zara from the chat. <laughs> you know Zara. Oh, they're all saying hi to you. See? Hold on. I'll put her there. Hi. They know you. They wanted to say hi. The that famous Zara. Just... <laughs> can you see the comments? Yeah. Now they can see your neck. And Zara can see as well. Uh, Carla Brown, Kuda Brown says, ask your niece how they got 40 quadrillion. Zara just dropped my phone. Fortunately, there's a case on it. How do you do this? Hold on, I'll get it. Dang. It's all right. I got it. Oh That's why I have a case on it. <laughs> the stream's still going. We're all, we're all good here. We're okay. We're all good. You got to, uh, hold on. This goes here. You're trying to tilt like that. Yeah. Zara, so, can you help her? Oh, actually, she's on, on camera. She can help her. Uh, hold on. Can you see the comments? Uh, Th that is Zara. We're hanging out here. Um, you guys have seen her in the chat like last year. Oh, Lisa Remo says New Year's with Zara was fun. Oh. Everybody's saying hi to you. Do you have anything you want to say to anybody while you're watching? Not really. No. No, Georgia's not going to be on just Zara today. She can be. Is Georgia too young to go on? No, she can if she wants. All right. They like the wallpaper too. Isn't that good wallpaper? Yeah, my That's mom good. did it. Your mom did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Uh, Larry said that is a pretty name, Zara. Thank you. Joel says, tell us a joke, but you don't have to I do have that. I have a joke. I don't know what it is. Do you have homework tonight? They're finally getting to see Zara after oh, being, after being the chat is. last year. Tina, get on. That's Christine. Hello. That's Saul's wife, my sister-in-law. She's awesome. We got the whole family here. Saul's teaching us how to make the tacos. It's been amazing. See, you hear that? What? It's really that's, hard, Steve. That's getting really... Yeah. I'm excited to do it. This is pretty dumb. So we're going to eat in a minute. Anything else you want to say? No. No. Well, that's Zara. You got to meet Zara. There you go. Look, look, <laughs> look out for her somewhere or other right. at some day. That's what I'll say. All right. You're, you're relieved of duty. Thank you, Zara. Yeah, we'll, we'll show, and that was fun. We'll show this out. All right, hold on. Let's go back here. So this is, this is, I turn the heat off on this. It's pretty much done. All right, so you turn the heat off. Want to, can, we, can we hold the meat up and just show them what it looks like? You can hold it up if you want. Ooh. It's not hot. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. You can see there's no water at the bottom. It looks amazing. Uh, there's our meat. And then, Saul, hold on. You're going to take the stuff out of the oven? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. He's also had the hard shells with the meat in it in the oven. He's going to take those out now. I got the camera down there. And oh, look. Oh, nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That looks amazing. Wow. We have soft and hard shells. Well, this is very exciting. By the way, hold on. I owe a thank you to Bob Piffle. Hey, thanks, Bob Piffle. Bob says, Mama used to make them like that. Meat in the shells in the oven. Do you like the Grateful Dead at all? I love the Grateful Dead. He loves the Grateful Dead. Yeah, we need an oven. But I will not be paying $1,500 to go see Cornell. <laughs> that I, don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, the Grateful Dead played a great couple of great shows in Cornell. Oh, but they're really expensive. Uh, and they're playing, they're, the Dead & Company is playing again this year. It's right. a very small venue, and some of the tickets are $1,500. Uh, all right, so we're, all, we're almost ready to eat. So we're going we're gonna, to... So I'm going to start summing up what we did so I can go join them and eat. Oh, Saul, the last thing I want to ask is, so can I just show what's on the table out there? Yeah, of course. So guys, I'm going to show, now that we have, so we have, I'm not going to show Georgia, though, it's okay. Um, so we have the meat here. All right, so there's the meat, okay? This looks great. Um, and I just want to show you, he saw put some condiments out. So what he has is we have, I, I'm looking at this for the first time. So we're going to put the meat on the table. He has some shredded lettuce here. He has some cut up tomatoes here. You have the soft tortillas that he heated on the oven. You have the hard shells, which, with, which he cooked with meat already inside them. Uh, he has some salsa out there. I'm not a sour cream fan, but he has sour cream. He has guacamole. What? Avocado. Avocado, guacamole, and he's got some cheese out there too, which is a great thing to have too. So when I make it, I'm going to have to learn, remember to buy these different things, the salsa, the guacamole, the, and the lettuce, and the tomato. Uh, that looks amazing. Okay, I'll put you back in here. All right. They can't see you. Hold on. Let me turn this around. Okay, so it looks awesome. Yeah, this definitely this definitely looks really doable because I I'm not that good a cook and it seems like I'm definitely gonna want to try this myself. We'll do a stream uh, at my place when I do it myself, and we'll see how I mess it up. And now you're putting it in a bowl. Hold on, I'll show them this. Wonderful. I should live scream cooking uh, Thanksgiving morning. Nobody wants to see our Thanksgiving. Nobody wants to see it. You yeah, could, you know, if people want to see everything. It's awkward. Ooh, that looks good. Cheers. Uh, yes, Amy, I do think I can pull this off. So we'll maybe we'll do it like next week or something. I'll buy the ingredients and we'll cook it. Do I? I think the dishwasher has dishes duty. How do you, you, but this you won't put in the dishwasher, the pot, right? Well, I'll put it in the, in the sink to soak. Right. This, it'll come off lazy though. Yeah, I'm hungry too. This looks amazing. Zara is reading the chat right now. Uh, Floor thinks I can make these. We'll see. Do you want to wave quick hi again? It's fine. Zara, Georgie, you almost got on. Do you want to say hi? You can just wave. Georgia's going to wave hi. This is my other niece. That's Georgia. Yay! They both got on the air. Woo! It's awesome. We're going to all eat tacos. You guys have never met Georgia. I don't think they knew you existed. Now they know. Do you have nothing to say? Nothing to say at all. No. They're very quiet. That's how they always are. They're very quiet and well-behaved. Yeah, right. Never. No, they're good. They're awesome kids. They're not even like kids anymore. They're little adults. Uh, everybody's saying hi to you, you can see. My back. These are Saul's kids. Can you see? They're all saying hello. Yes, you can. Nothing else. All right. Let's do Georgia, it. do you want to promote your flag football team? <laughs> no. No, okay. All right, that was awesome. Hey, the nieces got on camera and said hi. Um, Saul, and uh, so Saul has the meat, so we're about to go in and eat. Awesome. 
Saul, thank you so much. Big round of applause for Saul. Listen. He's an amazing cook. Cheers. He did a great job. Anytime. I'd say, where can, where can they see you on social media, but you're not even on social not media. Not even on. Yeah. yeah. So no social media for him. I, I'm not allowed to give you Zara's social media. So it's just mine for now. When Zara's of age, I'll give you her social media. Um, and, and George as well. Okay. Hey, this was amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this because I love tacos and I never knew how to make them. And this seems definitely doable. Uh, so I, we're going to do another stream um, when, I, when I make them by myself. And you can help me not screw it up. Uh, let me read some comments. Troy Brock Angel says, uh, great job, Saul. Everybody's thanking thank Saul. You, thank you, thank you. Amy says, yay, Saul. Hmm. Froggy says, have a great taco feast. MJ says, clap, clap. Annie says, enjoy dinner. The Moon says, eat up. Pumpkin Press says, thank you, Saul and Steve. Linda says, Bob Appetit. Bob Appetit, says Linda. It's a typo, clearly. Uh, Kuda Brown says, enjoy the meal. Kiki Glacier is laughing. Um... Let's thank our moderators, Sarah, Raven, Riley, Linda Belk, Lexa Fulmer, Rusty G, all moderating. Kay Body, awesome. Joel Myers says, breaking news, taco already. Tacos are ready. Thanks to everybody who donated too, super nice of you. A couple of you had made donations earlier for the, for, for the, uh, for the, uh, on earlier streams for the uh, raw material, so I will. For, I will. I'm gonna Venmo Saul that. Bridget McGowan says, "I bet most of us will go make tacos." Yeah, if you miss it, it's really easy. Um, just go back and watch the stream, and you'll see it's, it's not hard to do. I mean, really, all you really need at the most basic level is just ground beef and the taco mix and water, and and and, and shells and tortillas. That's really all you need. But you want to put stuff on them and stuff. Yeah, I will give you. Oh, give you a review after dinner. Yeah, I'll, I will. Next stream, I will talk about how it was. Kim Zink says, "Fun stream, thanks." Yeah. RV Cruisin says, "Thanks, Steve. Saul and mods was fun." Yeah, I'd love to also hear if any of you have never made tacos, and you end up making them after the stream. Let me know how it turns out. Also, if you have your own taco tips, let, next time we do a Lutner stream, you can let me let me know your taco tips i'm sure you have your other ways you make them oh um sarah says take pictures of how you fix the tacos up i will cali full says thanks to chef saul 77 pool bob says taco stream was worth the wait thank you very much yeah thanks to saul and his family for letting me use their kitchen in their home richie vegas says next try time try making turkey meat kim zink says make them quite a bit i love them oh thanks Dance Hall Tours. Hey, Dance Hall Tours, I'll have to look that up. I, I have to catch up on the news because I've been on here doing this stream. I will look it up. No, I did not bring the Bob hot sauce. We're not going to be putting that on the tacos. All right, I'm going to wrap up now because I'm going to go eat with my family. Um, Joe's Crayons, thanks for watching. Thank you again, Dance Hall Tours. Thank you again to our mods. Uh, Lookner channel on Twitter. Follow me on chat. Well, I'm Lookner on Twitter, but the channel is Lookner channel on Twitter. So um, you can find out when we're going live and subscribe to the channel, Lookner channel. Rob S., thanks for watching. Pumpkin Prez, The Moon, Nigel, Nikki, Sing Neon 40, Love Style. Thanks to my nieces, Georgia and Zara, and my sister in law, Christine, for saying quick hi. That was awesome. Anita Modaluski, thanks for watching Dragonfire. <coughs> Prozy. Time Daily. All right, I got to go join them. They're eating. I'm going to go. Hey, thank you guys. This was so much fun. I am looking forward to my taco stream next week. Big thanks to Saul for teaching us how to make tacos. That was awesome. All right, Pippi Long, thanks for watching. Kim Zink, Aralon, John Gidry, Austin Gaming. That's it. I'm a K Jack. Uh, Fly Pants Fly, Zach Cohen, The Moom, Johnny Mnemonic, Sam Stamos, Andy taking this huge name. All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to go eat. Thanks for, oh, RV Cruisin. Thank you so much, RV Cruisin. That's so kind of you, RV Cruisin. Thank you. Uh, Nan B, Lynn Halifax, Mother's Mustache, For the Two. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mods. Amy to Asia. 
That's it. I got to get off and go eat and join the family. I'm being a rude guest. That's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you uh, very, very soon. And, and very soon, we're going to do my, our own taco stream as well over at my place. Thanks, guys. Uh, uh, more streams coming soon.